Hi y'all, this is Maddie from Maddie's Kitchen and today I'll be making y'all some jumbo bacon wrapped scallops. And I got you know, this recipe from uh, Chef Vic Cuisine and I love his cooking, how he does things. So I'm gonna follow one of his recipe. Hi Victor. Okay, what I'll be using, I'll be using scallops. And these are jumbo. I haven't washed them yet. I let them unthaw, but I'll be rinsing them with cold water. You have to use cold water to rinse them. I also be using bacon. That make sure the bacon is able to long enough to cover uh, to wrap the scallops in. I also be using some parsley, fresh parsley, and these are elephant uh, um, garlic. I never used them before, but they smell so good. So I'm gonna try these garlic, and I also be using some lemon pepper some pepper, salt, and butter. And these are all the ingredients you need. And this is a simple recipe. And you also need some of these sticks. I forgot how you, what you call them. What are they, Crystal? Skewers. I'll be using skewers. <laughs> I'll be using these. But when you're using them, you have to soak them in water for at least about 30 minutes. Mine have been soaking for about 40 minutes because the reason of that, when you put them in the oven, you don't want them to burn. Okay, I'll get back with you with the process. The first thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to do my bacon. And, and the reason my bacon is so long is because of it's, um, it's the, my uh, shrimps, I mean, I'm sorry, my scallops are kind of jelly jumbo. And all you want this bacon to do is get a little brown. You don't want to fully cook it because it'll be too crunchy and it won't wrap. So let it cook. I got about, I got nine, ten scallops, so I got ten pieces of bacon. If your bacon is real long and your scallops are, um, a small, you can cut your bacon in two, but for these, I need some long ones. So I'm going to let this sprout on each side a little bit and I'm going to turn them over. And in the meantime, I'll be washing my scallops with cold water. I'll pour them in here and rinse them. Make sure you use cold water to wash them with. That's all you need is some cold water. i rinse them in and wash them. And, I'm, and when, you, when I get to wash them, you pat them dry with a paper towel because you don't want them wet. It'll mess up the process if they're wet. So I'll be frying this bacon uh, on, on, on each side. But I don't want to brown that much. Let me see how this is. I just want to get some of this fat off. Some of it off. Now this bacon looks so good to me in the store. Because I don't buy cheap food. But look how, look how much fat is on it. It's just, oh Lord. I think they cover the, uh, the lean up. Cover the fat up with the lean. The little lean they have on it. I just... If I had a saw this when I took it off the pack, I wouldn't have bought it. I mean, it's okay, but I just like the, I just like the food that's looking for it. Okay, I'm missing my scallops over here. And let them dry. I'm letting them dry. I'm going to turn this bacon over once it cooks a little bit. You don't want it to brown too much. And when you're cooking bacon, I learned how to cook bacon. You always kind of, you know, bring it up in the middle like that so it can cook. If you're putting it in a, a, a skillet, the best way to me to cook uh, bacon to me is in the oven. But I'm putting these in a, a pan because I want to see, I want to see how they're cooking. I don't want them to get too done. So I'm gonna let these fry. I'm gonna turn them over. I'm gonna show. Once I turn them over, I'm gonna show you how they need to look. Okay, I'll get back with you all. Okay, I'm starting to cook. See, you want them to get about turn over bacon. Now. You want them to get about this brown on the side. You don't want them to cook too much, just a little bit. To get, and the reason you're cooking them to get some of this fat out. That's the only reason you're cooking them. Um, let them brown each side, this color on each side. That's good enough. And I just want to show you that. And after I'm going to cut, I'm going to cook all this other bacon. I got that. I have 10 scallops, so I have 10 pieces of bacon. This five, and I'm going to cook the other five pieces, and I'll get back with you. Okay, the next step is to pat dry your scallop. Make sure they're dry, because that, I guess the process, they don't need to be wet. That probably stop the process, uh, slow up the process uh, when in the end. Mine already has strain in that colander, so I'm going to pat it dry. It's dry probably enough. You don't want it wet, so I turn on each side and just pat dry it. Each one of them. Okay, that's about dry good enough. I'm gonna put another paper towel, make sure to ensure taking them off this one and putting them on here. And what I'm gonna do is start seasoning them with salt and pepper, 
That's all you're gonna do. And then I'm gonna wrap them. And I'm gonna make my sauce next. That's the last step and put them in the oven. They'll be ready. It's a simple, fast recipe. So I'm gonna make sure I know they're dry now. And on each side, so I'm gonna season them with, I'm gonna season them with salt and pepper. On each side, I'm gonna turn them over and season with salt and pepper. Okay, this is some pepper. I'm gonna put them on each side. I bought me some new shorts. <laughs> so I was shaking, y'all see. I went into Walmart. They was just about four dollars. I think four dollars. I thought they was cute. I like all cute stuff. Anything that's cute, I'ma buy it. So listen, I'm holding it wrong, that's what you're supposed to hold. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna put some salt on the other side now. Make sure I see it when it comes out. I don't want to salt it too much. I have a problem with it. Okay, let's see. Let's see if it's coming out. Alright, it's coming out. I don't want to put too much. So I'm going to turn this over and season on the other side. And I'm going to wrap them with the bacon. That's it. I'm going to make my little sauce with the butter, parsley, and uh, lemon, garlic. And like I said, this is uh, elephant garlic. I never heard it, but it smells so good. It's strong. Like, I like the smell of it. I probably always use this elephant garlic. I probably always use it from now on because I like the way it smells. So you don't too salt in it. Okay, now I got both sides. Put a little pepper down here. There's nothing to this recipe. It's just good. Okay, now the next thing I, I'm going to do, I'm going to get ready to wrap it. And when you get, and I'm going to set it on uh, this right here. You, you need a, when you're cooking it in the oven, you have the oven heated to about 500 uh, on the brawler. And uh, you're going to uh, uh, make sure you line it with aluminum foil. And you're going to start wrapping all of them. The bacon, the scarlet, I'm going to wrap them. And these are jumbo, so this bacon probably be like the right size of it. Don't get your bacon too crisp, man. I just don't want to. Oh, see, this work out perfect. See how that look? That works out perfect. I'm going to put this in there. See that? That works out perfect to me. I'm going to put another one because I got a lot of these sticks. I want mine to stay together. No, most people won't use that, but I am. So I'm going to wrap all of this bacon the same way. I salted it with pepper and salt, and I wrapped it. This is the right size for this bacon. I mean, for this scallop. These are some jumbo, like I said. So I'm going to put them in there. Make sure you uh, hit it in the end so it won't come up. So I'm going to put it there. I'm gonna, I can put it on this tray. Lay them down. You can lay them like this right here. That's how I'm going to lay them. And I'm, I'm cooking 10 of them, so, you know. And then you're going to brush them. And I'm going to do all of these like this. I'm going to make my sauce. When I get through doing this, I'm going to come back and make my sauce. Like this all. You wrap it with the bacon. Make sure the bacon's not fully cooked. Put it in here, set it aside. It came out perfect with the jumbo. If you get jumbo scallop, all you need is uh, regular sized bacon. You don't have to cut it. Each one will hit uh, fit the scallop. That's all you need is jumbo. I, I chose jumbo. And honey, these jumbo was $30 a pound. I got 10 of them and the 10 came to $23. This is expensive. $23. Now, you don't have to get jumbo. The jumbos don't cost, uh, the regular size don't cost as much as the jumbo. And these are premium. So I'm going to enjoy this recipe. I might not share too much with it because, it, like I say, so, you know, I like the, uh, you can kind of do them like that too. I like the, uh, the high, it, you don't have to uh, cut your bacon. It wraps around the bacon just perfect. Okay, I'm going to get back with you when I finish this. Okay, my uh, bacon wrapped scallops is already wrapped. I might wrap them a little bit more, just straighten them up a little bit more. But what, what goes in this, uh, the sauce to spread on the uh, ends of the, um, the scallop is uh, butter, parsley, and garlic. I had bought one of these uh, thing at Walmart. The pressure of garlic, I did not like it was. It took me so long to get it out of these little grooves. I am an old-fashioned person. I'm going to get this as a gift to somebody else because I know I never use it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my garlic. I already chopped it. And I'm going to take my parsley. Put it over here. And I'm going to mix this together again. So make sure I know it's, you know, chopped up good enough. 
I'm not old fashioned. And I like doing this anyway. Sometimes I get on my nerves, but I like it. I'm not going to use all of this. And I got some butter. I got, I'm going to use probably about a, a fourth cup of butter. And this will be spreaded. Lemon pepper. And uh, that's all you use. But I'm going to put a little bay season in mine. Just a tap. Because I think that will make it taste good. See? And this top fine. When you chop and use it, slant the knife because you can get the best cut. So that's going into it, slant it, and you can get more. So easy to chop. It's so good. It's easy to chop versus that thing I got to wash and, and get a toothpick and dig out of them little cracks and holes. So I'd rather do this and wash my knife versus that. I guess I'm not a gadget person. You don't use a gadget. I'm not that. I'm old-fashioned. So I'm going to get this and get a spoon I should have. I'm gonna pick this up some of this. I might not use all of this. Put it in here, the garlic. And uh, this is some help from God, it's strong. Uh, some people might not like it, but I like it because I don't need much. I might as well use all of this because what I don't use, I'm not gonna, I can throw, I'm gonna throw it away. So I'm gonna put some butter in here. That's all you're gonna put is a little butter. Put a little butter in here. Pull some to you because you just wanna make a sauce. Let me see how much is in here. This is going to spread this over here, over the uh, scallop. Put a little bit more butter in. So I'm going to sauce and the sauce. I'm going to put, my hands are cramping. I don't know. I guess I do too much. My fingers are cramping. And so I'm going to put some lemon pepper in here. Some little pepper. I don't need good about that. It's a taste. It's up to you. And I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put some old bay, just a little bit to get it seasoned, just a little old bay in here, just a little bit. Seafood uh, seasoning, it's not coming out. Okay, put a little bit more butter. And I'm gonna get this mess up and I'm gonna get ready to uh, put this on my scalp and set it in the oven. Have your oven pre, like I said, have it preheated. So, a little bit more, but I use all this butter. Okay. A little bit of uh, Old Bay, a little bit more Old Bay. And that's all going, and it's going to be delicious. I did one off camera and see how it tastes. It was good. Lemon pepper, and that's it. Okay, I'm going to get ready to spread this on my, uh, on my uh, scallops and bacon. I'll get back with you when I clean it up. Okay, the last step, now I mix my butter, a little Old Bay, just a little bit, parsley, and the garlic in here and this sauce and i'm gonna put i think next time i make this what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take my scallops and put them in there and so it can go all the way through instead of uh you know instead of sticking it in i'm gonna brush my ends of it that's all i'm gonna do brush the ends of it and i put mine on one stick you know you can put three on there but i chose to use one stick because I want my bacon to cook finish cooking i don't want to, you know nothing to stop it you know by uh uh, by uh, just putting on three sticks, uh, putting three on a stick, you can. Like I said, I'm gonna put mine all over here. I don't know. Turn them over. Cause my bacon is is, is a little crisp. It'll, it'll cook. Cause you're putting the stove on broad. I want mine to be all over my stuff instead of putting it on the end. I have the brown as long as it's some of this fat. And I'm gonna turn them over and do the same thing. Like I said, I put mine on one stick. You should do the sides of it. See how to do the sides of it so it can get on there. But like I said, next time I'm going to put my whole scallop in here. And uh, like I cook different from anybody else. I don't know. Everybody said I'm a different cook. I don't do things that other people do. You can pick this up and do this. No, let's twist around. And you can put another. I'm going to put other sticks when I finish this and make sure my bacon is over here good. Do, do each side. Turn them over. And do the side just like that. And make sure you get the ends. But next, if y'all just, just try to you know, leave in the comments, it's the best to put your scallop inside of the sauce. Instead of just, uh, you know, putting it on the end. I think it would have been better if, because this is some good sauce. It tastes so good. And I just want, but I'm, since I started this, I'm going to do it. Following his uh, recipe. But next, next time, I, I'm going to 
I'm gonna do my do it like that. Okay, I'm gonna let this kind of drip off and I'm gonna set it on these. Make sure when you set it in the oven, like I say, you're gonna cook it for 10 minutes. You're gonna, cause you don't take scalp to cook long. If you do it, it'll get real tough and you know, like a little ball. What I'm gonna do is once it cook five minutes, I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna flip it over on the next side. And uh, 10 minutes, each side five minutes. And once I get through, I'm put this in the stove and I'll get back with you all. Thank you all for tuning in to my presentation. I hope you enjoyed it. My bacon wrapped scallops. They are so good. Some of the meat fell out of it and it's done. Cook it five minutes on each side. Turn it, flip it over and make sure you cook it. A total about 10 minutes. That's all you need for scallops. And if you like this video, share it with friends and family. And if you like this one, to stay tuned for the next video I put out coming soon. Thank you again for watching my video from Maddie's Kitchen.